Welcome back, friends. Today I have a huge, large family grocery haul for you. So if you've watched my previous grocery hauls, we have been eating out of our freezer and our pantry, which has been awesome because it has kept my grocery bill nice and low. We didn't need a lot of food, but guess what? That always comes to an end at some point, and this is it for us. So we are basically out of food. Now we're not totally out of food. I probably could scrape together a few more meals, but I'm getting down to the point where in order to do that, I would need a lot of the ingredients and I just have bits here and there. So I've decided that it is time for a huge meal plan for two whole weeks, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, dessert, the whole nine yards, and a stock up that matches. So here we go. Here is part one of my grocery haul. This is a Walmart grocery pickup. And actually I did get some non-food items which I can show you. Don't mind the messy counters. So I got this tub because I've got some toys for the kids that I need to organize in there. And I picked up this for one of the kiddos whose cups keep breaking, or did break. So I picked up that for her, and I'm in the process of organizing my recipe binder, clearing the clutter, getting it organized well enough to use efficiently, and I ran out of sheet protectors, so I grabbed some of those. Those are the non-food items that I needed to pick up today. So there's that. And then this was leaking all over, so I've got it in a bag right now, and then I'm gonna go throw it in my freezer um, but I have to think about how I want to do it because it's dripping so I might actually pull those out and put them in gallon Ziploc bags so that it doesn't drip all over but while I was thinking about it I decided to do this now I had actually ordered the frozen ones and then this was a sub item that they gave me so we'll see just how well that works but they are going to go in my deep freezer just as soon as I get them reorganized now, this big grocery haul, let's just get started and move our way around. So we were basically out of meat. I have a little ground beef and a pound of ground turkey left. I think I have one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey. And I've got some tilapia. That's all I had left. So I got two pounds of lean ground turkey. I got them this way because they were limiting the, um, the roll things that you could get here to only three, but I needed five pounds. So I got three like this and two that were nice and lean that way. I've got three pounds of ground beef. How funny though, on my last grocery order, I needed one pound and I could only get the three pound roll. And then on this order, I needed three pounds and I could only get the one pound roll. I thought that was like so funny. <laughs> so I don't know, mom life. Okay, staple item, always get some of that. Canadian bacon, the kids have been loving some breakfast sandwiches, so I got some of that. Staple for my salads, um, Michael sometimes eats that too. More chicken breasts, and then two packs of bacon for some dinners and breakfasts coming up. I got some heavy whipping cream, and you know, we really don't like cottage cheese at all, but I got the low fat cottage cheese because it is needed in one of my meals, and I just thought, oh well, we'll try it and we'll see. And if we hate it, then I know for the future. Strawberries and cream oatmeal, this is also a staple around here. 60 eggs, I hope that's enough for two weeks because I still have about one and a half dozen left in my fridge. So I'm hoping the next two weeks that's enough eggs. Then we've got four containers of unsweetened applesauce because I have one left in my pantry, so that should hopefully maybe last. I've got six of these eight ounce New Factal cheeses, the one third less fat. Need those for a lot of meals that we're having. Ranch, again, a staple. My kids love ranch, we are out. Mozzarella cheese over here. Some pizza sauce. Not for pizza, surprisingly. Grated Parmesan cheese, two chocolate syrups. Um, look at this, this one came with the lid popped off. But I don't know if I'm really gonna call and say anything because the seal underneath is still completely intact. 
so I might just pop the top off of the one that we still are using and wash it up and put it on this one. If that seal were intact, I definitely would not use this, but with the safety seal completely intact under there, I'm kind of thinking that the lid just broke off in transit somewhere and I'll probably just swap my lids and not make it a big deal. Lime juice, laughing cow cheese, three packs. This was a sub item. I, I did get their big pack of cheeses, but they gave me three individual packs instead. Grab some mayo for the kids. Then for snacks for the kids, I got more of those alphabet little crackers. They really like those. Some honey, honey, what are these? I can't think of the word. Graham crackers, honey graham crackers. There we go. Three boxes of the honey grams. They like those for breakfast and snacks. And then I have some three chocolate chips for muffins, cookies, and a lot of the kids or the older kids like to take graham crackers and chocolate chips in their lunch for a snack when they're at school. Um, the school does not provide a snack, so we have to as parents. And then Charlotte specifically requested butterscotch to go in that snack pack. So figured we'd splurge and grab her some butterscotch. All right, let's see, since we're already talking chocolate, I got some of this unsweetened chocolate and that is for some Trim Healthy Mama desserts. I also splurged a little bit and got myself some of this Lily's Milk Chocolate Baking Chips and that is for some Trim Healthy Mama cookies. Then over here, my towers of cans. I've got pineapple chunks, we've got some crushed tomatoes, black beans, and pinto beans. There's actually, of course, several. Then I've got some upside down and turned around cans, but the kids were over here playing when I was doing the other side. Tomato paste, and chunk light tuna in water over there as well. The drinks, I've got two packs of cold brew coffee, I've got some K-Cups just in case we don't get that done in time or we run out. It's always good to have that on hand for some coffee coffee. Tons and tons of drink mixes with choices. Strawberry, raspberry, pink lemonade. I now have so many people that are drinking this, but you know what? It's so much better than them wanting pop or juice or even my husband and I wanting pop or juice. So much better. If you are doing Trim Healthy Mama, this is on plan. So if you need just a little something different, there's that too. So yay for that being on plan. Then I got myself some Wasa crackers for a quick snack with some Laughing Cow Cheese. So that is the one snack thing I got for myself. Then I got some Collie Rice. This is the freezer one. I am still looking, I'm looking for shelf stable, stable, <laughs> I can't talk. I'm looking for shelf stable collie rice, but I have not found it. I saw it in a video over at Fields Full House and I'm like, I have gotta find that. But this is the freezer one, so it'll keep at least for a while. We've got blueberries, okra, California blend, and just plain cauliflower. I still have about a half a bag of broccoli as well from the last time. Mango chunks, strawberries, blueberries. I think I told you I had blueberries already. Then I got some pita bread from Michael and I. Some of these extreme wellness wraps from Michael and I. Those are for our dinners. And then this lavash, is it lavash, lavish, lavash? I'm not sure, I think it's lavash bread. I got one of these because I wanna make these into crackers as well. Do a little bit of cracker and cheese that way. So I think that's it for this side. I get my produce from a Kroger brand store because it is so fresh and it lasts so long. So this again was a huge stock up week. Uh, this is about two weeks of produce for us, so I will go through it and let you know what we got. Starting with four pounds of strawberries, which is probably only one snack day, to be totally honest with you. One snack or one breakfast, they will go through all those. But four pounds of strawberries, because it's just nice to have something different. Six pounds of apples and a bag of pears. I grabbed a bag of romaine hearts because Michael and I have been eating our burgers and things on lettuce instead of on buns, and that's worked really well for us. So I grabbed some of that. 
grabbed up some of those little clementines. The kids love those. And a lot of this was on sale. That's how I shopped. The strawberries were on sale over here. The clementines were on sale. Even the green peppers were all on sale. So I got two huge bags of green peppers and a big bag of red peppers as well. And I will dice and freeze those to use in a lot of like omelets and things like that. So I grabbed those to dice and freeze. Zucchinis, sweet potatoes, avocados, mostly for Michael because none of the rest of us really like avocado, but I grabbed that for him. Then a cucumber, Charlotte loves those, and some bananas. Teddy and Michael love the bananas. Oh, he just saw the bananas. And now he wants the bananas. This is week one of the meal plan done. I took a lot of this week's meal plan from the Trim Healthy Mama Cookbook and the Trim Healthy Table Cookbook. But we've got mufflets and omelets on week number one for breakfast. I decided to just make two major things that I can switch between. And I decided to do a wrap with cream cheese and fruit on it on Sunday as well. The lunches this week, barbecue sandwiches, my turn, barbecue sandwiches, chicken frittata, a BLT, BLT frittata, Shh. chicken salad, zucchini boats, and leftovers one day. I planned two sweet treats that I will rotate through all week, soft double chocolate chip cookies and brownie fudge. And I figure I will only eat a little bit of each of those each day, so two treats should get me through the whole week. I'm not going to binge eat them, right? Uh. Then dinner. Crock pot balsamic chicken, crock pot lasagna, crock pot chicken florentine. Um, then we've got some deconstructed fajitas, meatballs, and spaghetti, which that spaghetti is actually going to be a spaghetti squash, cowboy grub, and a cheesy tuna casserole. Here is week number two. Again, it's from Trim Healthy Mama Cookbook and Trim Healthy Table Cookbook for the most part. Monday, I decided to do eggs and avocado for my husband and breakfast cheesecakes for myself. Then mufflets and omelets for some of the week and this apple cinnamon oatmeal for those who would like to try it for two days as well. Lunches are going to be sloppy joes, sweet potato bar, a chicken salad. This day is actually Isabel's birthday. So she wants donuts for breakfast that day. She wants pizza hut for lunch that day. But I know that some of us who want to stay on plan probably won't have pizza hut. So that's why I planned a chicken salad that day. Then for dinner, she actually wants dinosaur chicken nuggets. So I figured we'd do leftovers or something to that effect for those of us who aren't really into the chicken nuggets that night as well. But the rest of the lunches, blackened chicken with mango and black beans, ranch, uh, that's the drumsticks, the banging ranch drumsticks, tacos or a taco salad and then leftovers. The sweet treats are again going to be those soft double chocolate chips. I'll make another batch. Um, the brownie fudge. Then I thought I'd try brownie batter in a mug and see how that tastes. Bless you. And of course we have her cake for those who are going to eat it on her birthday. And for dinners, crock pot Mexican chicken, crock pot sweet lime tacos, talked about that dinner already, deconstructed stuffed peppers, lettuce burgers with a mayo sauce, chicken alfredo and tilapia tacos. Well thanks for joining me for this grocery haul and meal plan today. If you enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.